As blood leaves the right ventricle, it then enters the pulmonary trunk. And the pulmonary trunk is going to divide into the right and left pulmonary arteries. Here we're looking at the base of the heart and right on the top over here is the pulmonary trunk again. And you can see how the pulmonary trunk, which is carrying deoxygenated blood to the lungs, branches right over here to give off the right pulmonary artery and the left pulmonary artery. Oxygenated blood returning from the right and the left lungs is collected by the pulmonary veins. And the pulmonary veins will then drain this oxygenated blood into the left atrium, which you see right over here. We have removed the wall of the left atrium so that you can see the interior of this chamber. And here you can see the opening that allows blood to flow into the left ventricle. So this is the the orifice, uh, the, the left atrioventricular orifice, and it's going to have a valve, the left AV valve, the mitral valve, that's going to prevent blood from flowing back into the left atrium. Over here, notice that here's the other side of the fossa ovalis, and so this represents the interatrial septum, so the interatrial septum, the wall between the right and the left atria is located right over here.